everyone, it's Sarah from Nova Scotia. Welcome back to Colorful Creations. I usually try to post twice a week, but well, lately it's been only once, but I, I like to get busy. Um, I'm gonna do a Dutch pour today on a 24 by 24 canvas. I will put all the colors on the screen and in the description for you, but I'm using a whole bunch of fall colors, some, a whole bunch of like different golds and browns, red, yellow, orange, all those, and some greens. It should be awesome, hopefully. So we'll get started. So here's all the colors I'm going to be using today. Um, hopefully there's not too many. A little bit of everything. I'm using a hair dryer with an attachment on it. Nice wide, a wide one. I got it on Amazon. There's a few in the set, I think for maybe less than 20 bucks. And I have an airbrush. Um, if I want to use it for a little finer details. Um, I don't add anything to it or anything like that. It's just the air that's coming through it. It's just a lot easier than blowing in a straw. So I'm gonna flood the canvas in white. These paints are mixed how I always mix them. There is a link to a video in the description if you wanna see that. A little piece of something there. Ew. So if you wanna check out that video, it has my recipe and consistency and all that stuff in it. I won't bore you with it here. So I'm just flooding this in white and I'm gonna just tilt this to cover. Kind of works better than using a spatula and that way you know you have the right amount of paint on it. When you use a spatula, it can kind of, um, you can end up getting way too much. And then, you know, you want enough but not too much. Too much, you're gonna end up, um, you're gonna lose all your colors. You're gonna, everything's gonna just, it'll blow right over it. I'm really excited to use all these fall colors. I've never used fall colors before and it's fall and they're gorgeous and you know, I wanna try. So I have, like I said, um, a few different golds from different um, brands, different brands. Some from Montmart, um, Sergeant Art. I think maybe that's it actually. And the, I have some colors from, I have some colors from Pebio. I'm gonna add a little more. I'm just gonna make sure my edges are all covered well too. I'm trying to decide how I want to lay these colors out. I think I wanna do two lines. Maybe like kind of Hope I don't screw it up. I might just go on an angle. Okay, so the first color I have is a deep brown. And I mix that with black and orange. Next one is a metallic brown. It's actually leftover paint from another painting that, well, I actually scraped it off the, the table. It's a mixture of um, black and some metallics. The next one is like a wine a wine color and I made that myself by using red and purple. I have a copper. This is so pretty. I don't really get a chance to use it that much. This is an Aztec gold. This is like a peach that I made um, mixed by mixing gold with a little bit of red. I have a sap green. Should be fun. And a bronze, which is also really pretty. Never get a chance to use it. I have a brilliant red. I have uh, a bright orange. And I have some, in you know, all the ones that aren't metallics or iridescence, I have mixed a little bit of iridescent medium in it. Um, I have this uh, gold, it's a, a lighter gold. This one's by Montmartre. It's, it's almost like a cream. I just want to get like a creamy color in there. Now I have an iridescent by Pebio, a uh, green yellow. And this is my first time trying it. It's really pretty. I'm hoping it's not too light that it gets washed out. So that's why I'm putting it on top. I think I want a little extra. 
And I also have this gorgeous non-medium yellow. Again, I'm hoping that it's not gonna get it washed out too and mixed. We'll see. Doesn't look like a humongous sub. <laughs> it looks like a sub. I'm gonna torch it. Now, depending on how far this blows, I might be left with a lot of empty space on these corners. And if I if I do, I'll do another something there, I think. So we'll see how far this goes first. right here. different. It's pretty. I think I like this. Now, do I need any more little, have some little fun with the airbrush maybe. I kind of want to fix up a little bit here. I don't want to go too crazy and I, I still want to have this little bit of separation here. So just a little dip, just a little tiny bit. Right. I think I'm going to leave this how it is. I'm going to take a popsicle stick and run it under the edges. All right, let's have a look. I'm pretty happy. All the colors are showing. The yellow is definitely there, and I was worried about that one, especially with that bright green. See these darker colors up on the top section here, and then I think it's a good mix. The red, orange, yellow, green, the golds. All these beautiful fall colors and definitely see the brown as well. So what do you think? I'm gonna let this dry and I'll probably put resin on this. We'll see, it'll really bring it to life and then I'll show you the end. But let me know in the comments what you think of this. I'll try showing you without the bright lights on here. Well, I guess it's not making much of a difference. <laughs> I 
What a beautiful mix of colors. And here's the dried result. I don't have anything on this yet. I will add resin or some kind of varnish, but it looks really good. Um, the colors really blend well. Beautiful fall colors. I love that they're all showing. And there's some really nice negative space, which really makes it look like it pops out. So if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any ideas or suggestions you would like to see in a future video, let me know. I'm always up to that. So I will have this on my website if anyone would like to purchase it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.